now we're TV Gonna grab a drink or three Because you know it's always five o'clock somewhere Two lads from Yorkshire and another bloke from Somerset Sucking and chatting away with each other You never quite know what you're gonna get Matt is a spark and his barbs are sharp He has us crying For an electrician his banter is electrifying There's a designer, the guy with the cider John is the landlord and they're all happy hour TV Hello everybody, thank you so much for joining us for another Happy Hour TV. Uh, it's always great to see you. Thank you so much for uh, popping in and saying hello. Uh, we've got uh, our usual chaps here this week. Uh, we've got Mark and John and we're going to be, um, we'll, we'll do our usual stuff during uh, the thing. But before we do, could you uh, just click the subscribe button and uh, tap the bell. The bell uh, will bring up a little notification on your phone and let you know next time that we're on. So uh, if you want to uh, subscribe, help us out, that'd be great. And if you like what you see, hit the like button. Uh, it helps on the YouTube stuff, and YouTube puts us out on other people's news feeds and things. So uh, it's worth doing. So that'd be a great help if you could do that. Cool. Uh, guys, um, what have we been up to this week? Uh, John, what have you been up to? Well, we had a bit of a blow uh, with, with the this, this skydive situation with Long Skydive. Oh. So it, 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 was, it was postponed due to. Um, bad weather, but we suspect that it was more COVID related and social distancing, mm. planning how to do it safely. So we had to update there. This was actually on every statement. But right. either way, uh, it gives us a great opportunity to raise some more money. Um, and we'll be putting links uh, just getting paid. Yeah, more. it's it's been there for the last few few episodes. So the, the links the links will be there. So until yeah, she's done. and we'll run it a few weeks after as well. It'll be gifted in as well. So, so, so because it's self-funded, mm. anything that you put on to the, the just giving, the government will also contribute to it as well. Yeah, yeah, that's um, good. So yeah, so it, it's it's we rescheduled for the beginning of November. So yeah, cool, yes. cool. Uh, but otherwise, all all is well in the, in your world this week. You can carry on. It's um, it's really really difficult to trade. I think kicked in its teeth uh, mm -hmm. um, I don't really know what else to say about it uh, publicans re restaurants everyone is mm. really uh, um, downtrodden and, mm -hmm. um, it's weird it's it's a weird time and and uh, I can't see it changing uh, it's going to be a, it, it, the thing is, a dreadful but, few months Genuinely, there will be so many businesses who are going to go bust mm -hmm. because there's no trade and there's no financial support at the minute from the government. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, you know, there's a, it's it's a, a long trail of knock-on effect, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you're not selling, you know, um, food, if you're not selling drink and and re you know refreshments or, or snacks and things like that, you're not buying it from the suppliers, mm -hmm. and then the suppliers aren't buying it from the the, the manufacturers you know and it's just a, a, a knock-on effect you know it's just uh okay mark uh what's what's your thoughts what's been happening uh, fairly quiet week for me this week now just been uh chilling out really recharging the batteries oh in between been yeah helping ryan out the, still. Pre the pressure's off i'm guessing yeah, and, and it's still just helping ryan a little bit doing yeah. a bit of work up his place. you're not over at blackpool working at the moment i know i'm still in blackpool i hope it's just a bit easy yeah yeah yeah, but, yeah just okay weekend just and how's out. how's your hamstring how's I'm, that going i wouldn't know <laughs> i've just I'm totally rested it because you've not, <laughs> not, not exerted myself all. Yeah, yeah. So you're not feeling it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no. Wise, wise move. Yeah. yeah, wise move. Probably best. Probably best. Cool. Uh, well, for me, it's been. Uh, I, I've I've been busy. I'm, I feel like I'm working doubly hard for for less money. Um, and you'll probably feel that, John. You you end up kind of working, working, and working to try and bring something in. So I, I've been flat out uh, the, these past few months. Um, but. You know, it is what it is. I'm currently working on a, a chap's book. Uh, he's authored a book. Uh, he's got a, a novel that he's bringing out. Um, and I've got the task of bringing it all together. And I, I'm the editor, you know, and I'm also the, the layout and graphic design side of things to, to get it to publish, you know, uh, and stuff. So 
that's yeah. exciting. It'd be a nice little project to, you know, see at the end, you know, and say, look, you know, it's a book that I've done. I've done a few, I've done a few books now. Um, so, but so uh, it's always nice being part of somebody else's, you know, um, you well, know. Is it? It's not like a book that when you stand it on its side, it's about that thick. Uh, no, it's probably going to be, we reckon, about 250, 260 pages. Month, yeah, 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 it's, it's reasonable. So that's that, so that's what I've been up to, but uh, yeah, busy week. Um, what are we drinking? Uh, what, what have we got? I've got, um, I'm on me, uh, me Thatcher's, just to give you a little heads up. Um, we've got some merch coming from Thatcher's, I've been on to them. Um, so they're sending us, uh, sending us something in the post, so we'll wait and see what that, uh, what that is. Um, but I'm on, uh, I'm on the Cider Barn. Cider Barn, Vilberry uh, Cider Barn, which is a nice drop. Uh, what have you got, John? Yeah, I've got a little bit of uh, Dino, so Baramundi. Baramundi. You've had one of them before. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. I like the red. Yeah. yeah, I haven't had a bottle of red or a glass of red for a long time. Mark, what are you on? Yeah, and I've, I've gone blonde. Oh, well done. Saltair nice blonde. blonde. Yeah. You're definitely a Saltair fan, aren't you? Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. You cool. sell it in the co op as well. Very reliable, are they? Very consistent, very reliable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, um, what's uh, Timothy Taylor's like? You know, like, is a name that I'm familiar with. Uh, it's a lo- another local uh, brewery, isn't it? It's yeah. pretty quality. I mean, they are, they are a very big player. Um, right. Yeah, they are a very big player, uh, Timothy Taylor's. Right, right. Don't think I've had one. Don't Ooh, think like I've had one. Yeah. Um, Brills, sorry, like Landlord. Mm. Very tasty, very tasty. And it's a, yeah. it's a very common house ale. Cool. Yeah. It, it's, um, it's very volatile, apparently. It takes about three days for it to settle. All right. Whereas for me, I like to get my beer in. I like to, get to sell it in 12 hours. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. you don't do that in Landlord. Right, right. Yeah, nah, good Brills, but not yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. Because of cricket. They're costing now, let me Oh, do they? Yeah, if, if you're not going to buy them by the wagon load, it's... Uh, it, well, I normally, I normally buy beer for about 60 to £75 per tub, depending on the ABV. Yeah. Yeah, this is 100 quid per tub. Wow. Oh, that's and quite that's a job. That's why I've never had it on, on the barn. Yeah, yeah. But if, if, weirdly enough, if, if you're a green king pup, you can buy it for 60 quid. That's why they have it as as a house sale. Oh, right, right. It's, uh, it's, it's cheap to the big breweries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm little Timmy, and I buy one or two at a time, whereas they buy one <clears> load <throat> after one <throat> load, <throat> load make it a Right, right. Anyway, so yeah. It's <laughs> well, an I expensive drop. Let's, um, let's clinky in, gents, and uh, let's uh, let's get another week going. Here we go, Ooh, clink, yeah. clink. Good, good. Cheers, gents. Cheers. Cool. Um, got some great clips for you this week. Are we ready for what happens next? We are. Let's give it a go. They're they're, uh, they're all fairly modern, um, and because they are, I wonder whether you remember what they are, what they were, and um, uh, whether um, uh, whether you can remember the, remember the product. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay right here we go um so as i say uh, they're fairly modern so you may remember them here we go here's our first one here goes okay do you remember the advert? I remember seeing him walking through office it, 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 like that. Yeah, I can't really. remember what he's got in there for. Vega rings a bell. I, I don't know what the product is though. I'd like to, I'd like to think that there's a meeting for, for beans and he goes in there and there's, <laughs> and, and there's like a... a <laughs> but you know when, it, when you're at a water park and, 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 and it's all flowing down with water, I, I'd like to imagine a steam a, 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 a slide and it's always full of beans and the beans are flowing down in his inside. <laughs> okay, all right. Mark, any thoughts? Yeah. Well, my first initial thought is uh, 
a water slide as John. Oh, water. okay. He's a little yeah. uh, analogy, but uh, yeah. Some any idea? Of... Any idea on product? On what what it is that they're promoting? What they're advertising? Can you no. remember? No. No. John, can you remember? Contactless. For what? Is it Barclays? Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Making payments simpler. Can you get me a towel? Well done, well done, John. Because you yeah. said contactless and you got Barclay card, so well done, absolutely brilliant. Well done. Uh, I obviously memory jogged. Uh, do you recognise the bloke? Let's go back. Um, I I reckon uh, people may recognise this chap. Let me just go and share his picture. Anyone recognise who he is? Um. Does he look familiar? Yeah, but, uh, mm. um, I th I think it's the same guy from Gavin and Stacy. I think it's Stacy's brother. Brother. Yeah, the gay, the gay lad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it's him. I think that's the same fella. Uh, there you go. Right, let's go on. Um, let's see if you can remember what happens in this advert. Let's have a look. Okay, let's, uh, let's stop that. What do you think it uh, is? Have you seen this ad? No, no, no. I, I, I think he's given a, a timer because I think that she goes shit to his. Where did he look up at her then? Obviously, put some some something that would taste like cardboard and probably looked the pig you know, to a cat. He yeah, really didn't want that too, did he? <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he's diving a turkey. Okay. All right. So, any ideas what the product might be? Yeah. Uh, Timex. <laughs> okay. And Mark, what do you reckon? I have no idea. No, no idea. Here we no, go. No. <laughs> uh, I trimmed off the very beginning of this advert, so you get to actually see a very quick glimpse. Let's have a look. I don't know what we're expecting. <laughs> oh, it's Here we go. Here we go. Right. Okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he's with a new song. Thank you, thank you <laughs> for all the meat and sausages. Thanks for all the walls. You're so very wonderful. You're the best wife in the whole world, Mummy Bear. But you can't really tell me that because he's just a bloke, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, he can't really tell you that because he's a bloke, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, walls, sausages, uh, and uh, yeah, you didn't get that right. Um, but, uh, and it's not that old as an advert. Um, but there you go. Right. 
Uh, the, the days of watching TV are way behind me now, you know. Really? You're not watching much, watch Sally? It, it's, it's BBC iPlayer, it's uh, Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I just, I just uh, go on the news channel. Um, right. Very okay. rare do I watch telly. Well, if yeah. you record something, you just fast forward all the adverts now, do you? Sign of the yeah. Times, sign of the Times, isn't it? Because, mm. yeah. uh, you know, I'm I'm the same. I, I haven't watched any normal telly for a long, long time. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't get to, to stare at it. Right, okay, uh, we've got... Um, okay, this is a good one. See if see if you remember this one. Uh, it was a few years ago. See what you think. Do you recognise it? Oh, you're the blue! You recognise it now? I know. What's um uh what's your thoughts then, John? Do you remember this one? Well, I remember the advert, but I can't remember the details of what actually happens next. I think I think what's happened is right. The the, the lad right through so they stood there and he's going, Yay! I've, I've got I've got the goodies. Falls through the eyes. Okay. And then and then the goodies start to uh, Flow with the river underneath the ice, and they're trying to, and the music gets faster and faster, and they're running along, trying to, trying to look through the ice to see where the where the goodies are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any thoughts, Mark? I think he's, he's sent him to a shop for for the beer, aren't he? I okay. think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's let's try and get this then. So, what it's beer is it? it? What what have they gone for? Any thoughts? Any thoughts, John? Stella. Stella. I think it's Cronenberg 1664. You think it's Cronenberg 1664. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, let's get on the share. Here we go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well done, John. <laughs> ah, Stella. What is Stella? Yeah. <laughs> Go get him, then, boy. <laughs> 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 Brilliant! I love that ad. I think it's great. Such storytelling, you know. St uh, I just, just a great ad. I love it. It's very good, um, and the the whole vintage nature of it. And it was stellar mm -hmm. Artois. So well done. Well, between well done. Do yeah, definitely. Yeah, good, good, uh, good memory. Right, we've got one more. We'll do one more, uh, which is our favourites. Um, we've got a trunk monkey. Trunk monkey okay. Yeah. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Not a problem. With our two-month, 2,000-mile pre-owned protection guarantee, our commitment to our customers doesn't end when you drive off the lot. Oh, glad to hear it. It's been running like a dream, but lately the trunk monkey seems to be on the fritz. 
Okay. Just lately, the trunk monkey uh, seems to be on the fritz, which I'm guessing means, you know, uh, you know, on the blink. Yeah, blink. yeah. So, what do you reckon? Um, maybe the monkey's got a bit territorial over the boat and what that name going around here. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> possible. So you, you open the boat and you think, I just want to put the groceries in there, or on me, <laughs> on me, you know, um, me dog, or whatever. And the chunk monkey is behaving like a guard dog that doesn't recognise anyone. Okay. Snarling. All right, okay. And um, Mark, what do you reckon? I think you've just been having a bit too much partying in the trunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, a, just a bit wasted. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So, n- neglecting his n- neglecting his duties. Yeah. yeah it's all been okay. out. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Let's have a let's have a quick look then. Let me. Uh... So here we go. Not a problem. With our two-month, 2,000-mile pre-owned protection guarantee, our commitment to our customers doesn't end when you drive off the lot. Glad to hear it. It's been running like a dream, but lately the trunk monkey seems to be on the fritz. (laughs) (laughs) I think I got it. Yay. Trunk Monkey Pre-Owned <laughs> Protection Plan, only at Suburban Auto Group. Oh, that is bonkers. Oh, dear. There you yeah. go. I like it. Very good. Uh, there's your what What happens next, um, and we'll have some more next time. Good, good. <laughs> okay, chaps, without much further ado, our first question of the evening is... Have you ever been done for speeding? <laughs> I, 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 I've got a few stories. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's been more than once. You know, I've only ever, um, I, I never got points when I was in, did I get points while I was in Somerset? No. No, I didn't get points while I was in Somerset. I only started getting points when I moved up here. The number of speed cameras you lot have got. No. All right. Absolutely hideous. In Somerset, you can you can drive like a loon. In Somerset, they're not bothered. Up here, you know, um, you can't drive over twenty mile an hour in some places. It's bonkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drives me drives me bonkers. I, I, I hadn't driven for months, right? And I go out one day to go and get a printer because me printer had knacked, you know. So I go off to go and buy a printer. Come, you know, I saved myself a hundred quid on this printer. I could have bought it online and paid a hundred quid more. Instead, I go to Costco and get one that's a hundred pound less. I'm having a bit of a rant. <laughs> get one that's a hundred pound less, but on the way home, I'm paying a hundred pound for a bleeding speed camera. <laughs> so the money that I saved, I just gave to the bleeding police. Yeah. And it cost yourself half a day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, really annoyed. Really annoyed. Could have ordered it online and not got done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leading things. I've got several stories about getting stopped, you know, or, or whatever. In Somerset, I drove home, all right? I had a BMW at the time, a 5 Series. It was quite nice, a bit nippy. Uh, driving home late at night, it must have been, I don't know, half 11 or so. And I've, I've, donked it down the road right i'm doing stupid speed right it's an a road it's not a motorway right it's not big and it's not clever but i was doing over 70 mile an hour all right um i was flying right and this cop car is following me right and i'm thinking oh bugger. so i dropped down to 30 you know because it's back into a 30 zone all right and uh, i'm creeping along now because i know he's behind me all right yeah. and then the blue lights go and he pulls me over and it, and and i said I'm sorry. I just apologised to him straight out. I said it's been a long day. I just want to get home. I'm done. You know, I'm done for the day. I've just worked a long shift. I'm done. And he said, "Don't do it again." And I'm telling you, I was doing, I was doing above seventy on a fifty or sixty road, whatever it would have been. Um, don't do it again. Get home and uh, you know, think about what you did. And they got a slap on the wrist. Up here, you only have to sniff past a camera and it flashes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> cool, go on then, Mark. Yeah. I've had my little rant. I'll get off my yeah. soapbox well, now. Thank you. I've been, I've been done by the local mobile cameras a couple oh, of times. Uh, what about the van? Uh, yeah. on, well, he's always by the there. Primary school, yeah. Uh, yeah. We'd, we'd just moved into this house and we were, yeah. we'd gutted it. I was just taking some rubble to the tip. Primary school did me about 35 mile an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah 36, he's called me. Like, I don't think we'd even moved into the house at that point. We were still living at Sam's with my dad's. Yeah. And then another time, I'd done a bit of work in a Saturday overtime. We were working in Manchester. We were doing a hotel at Ashton. So I'd gone Saturday morning, coming home, car full of lads, just getting home, coming along the 62, just coming past a little farm in the middle mm. of the 62 by, by yeah. Scamondon, that area. And just getting to the big bridge, blue lights. Oh. Oh, pulled me over, unmarked car, had been following oh, me. Oh, yeah. Been tailing me for an, a mile, taking an average. Of, mm. Been filming me, so we had to get in the car and watch a video. So, <laughs> I did you get a have... slap? Did you get a slap on the wrist? No, or... I, I got, oh, you got a fine. I got three points here and a, and a uh, fine. I think he, he averaged it out about eighty-seven. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> it, what are you? But <laughs> 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 over a mile, about eighty-seven. So yeah. Mm. So usual, he has a little laugh. Oh, taking the mic about mates being in car. Oh, you better go back to your mates. Yeah. yeah, working for nothing in the morning, all that carry on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just want to get home, don't you? <laughs> Just want to get home. Go on, John. Yeah. What's what's yours? Well, well my I'm guess not... my guess is, having seen you drive, <laughs> um, you probably have been caught at some point. <laughs> well, well uh, I might have done once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got right up to um, nine points at this point. You know, thinking off. Mm. Just. One final mistake away from a disaster, mm. and the three points came on. Oh, fantastic! I've got a buffer zone now, and I was coming home. Um, I could up the A1 on a Sunday evening. It was half past ten. And it was it was in the middle of winter, it was pitch black. And I thought this is great because no one can get anywhere near me. They can't see me, so I was. I, it was the section of the A1 that's a private road. So I was doing about 110, 115 average. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to myself, if I see in the headlights in the bar, I'm just going to slow right down. Because nothing can get anywhere near me. Anyway, um, after about an hour or so of doing that, I saw some, a pair of headlights and I thought, oh, and just eased right off that I was cruising at 70 miles an hour for what seemed like miles before this car alongside. Sure enough, it was a... Oh, red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I looked over and I thought, this is not, this is, this is easy. Um, he can't, he can't, I mean, no way he can't, he can't see. So, it, so I get to this car, says, right, it says, uh, what's, what's the crack? Why are we called Joe that? I don't know, I And, um, and he, he said, look, Let's just let's just cut to the chase. Cause, you know, no mess around. I asked him the question: When was your radar last calibrated? <laughs> right. I heard that that was one of the uh, get out of jail free cars. That could play. And he said, "Look, says um, I've averaged you out at ninety eight point two, and I'm thinking." <laughs> <laughs> no, I would. If we were that different too, I would have been going, you know. Yeah. yeah. And he and he said, "Look, this is, um, anything over ninety is an instant six points. So, do we want to challenge it and go to court and get the six points, which you will get, or do you want to take the three points now?" All right. Uh, Three points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. God, dear, uh, dear. Well, I was at nine points. I came out at six points for about three weeks. And put it back on again. Yeah. And then I sold my car and bought a van, and it all changed. <laughs> Slowed you down. Oh, massively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't ride fast. You can't go around yeah. the well, Lauren can. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's like she, she, the, the the driving that I've seen Lauren. Uh, she's a bit like that um, uh, lady on Top Gear, you know, going around that German track, the transit van. Have you seen it? That's how I picture Lauren. Oh God, yeah. Driving the transit van, the track. Yeah, yeah. You know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many <laughs> Uh, I've been stopped several times by the police, um, you know, for, for um, yeah, for, for driving a bit quick um, and things. But um, I've always managed to sort of stick around three three points. So here she here she comes, speak of the devil. Look here she comes. The little uh, the yeah, we'll just call her the female Stig, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, we should get her a helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Switch off your phones, it's pub quiz time. Over to Mark. Hey then, boys. Got another quiz for you this week. Good old what's what's the score? What's the score? Oh, Where are we at? What, what, what graphic are we on? Are we on about four? Uh, about it's four, four, now? four three, wasn't it? Four, yeah. three, one. Yeah. Yes, so on about three. They're on three. On, on one. Yeah. Four, three, and one. Yeah, yeah. So, John, it's your chance, all right, to fancy. get this point today. All right. Call a bit back here. Yeah, do your best. <laughs> so this week we've gone with a, again, it's like a 50 50 quiz. It's higher or lower. Oh, brilliant. Nice. Okay. So I'll, give you, I'll give you a question, then an yeah. answer. So you have to tell me if it's higher or lower. Okay. The answer. Yep. 10 questions. And we'll uh, crack on. Number one. Yep. Yeah. What is the flying distance between London and Los Angeles? Is it higher, oh, higher or lower than 5,100 miles? Goodness me. Okay. Number two. Yep. In which year was the highway code first published? Is it higher or lower than 1936? Wow. All right. Number three, how tall is Blackpool Tower? <laughs> well, I'm working there. Is it higher or lower than 160 metres? That's big. Big, isn't it? Mm. Number four. The distance from Land's End to jo John O'Groats. Oh, Again, is it higher or lower than 562 miles? <laughs> I think that's too close. <laughs> if you'd I think said... it's always seem too close, don't they? Yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number five. How many appearances did Stuart McCall make for Bradford City? Is it higher or lower than 356? Help me out here, John. How many games a season? Um, usually about 46. Mm. Okay. And he had two stints with us. Mm. He came as a 16 year old, wasn't he? Mm. Mm. So, so it's a few. Okay. Number six. <laughs> what is the top speed of a giraffe? <laughs> 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 is it higher or lower than 45 miles an hour? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I, I've, I, I, I can guess that they can move pretty quick. They've got big legs, haven't they? They've got long legs. Mm. 
But they're big, you know. Yeah, they are. Massive. Yeah, they are. Eh? He's tall. They've got bodies that are... Oh, 40 odd mile an hour is fast. I don't think it's that. Number seven, the circumference of the earth. Is it higher or lower than 45,000 kilometers? Oh, kilometers. Why can't you just call it miles? No. <sighs> Google didn't do miles. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough quiz this week. It yeah. is, yeah. <laughs> uh, how, how, how many miles, how many kilometres? 40? It was 45,000. 45,000. Goodness me, Mark. Yep. Right. Number eight. Mm-hmm. How many dots are on, on a standard set of dominoes in total? <laughs> Is it higher or lower than 172? <laughs> 172, you say? Yeah. So you're doing your quick maths now. <laughs> uh, number nine. How many rooms are in Buckingham Palace? <laughs> in total? Yes. <laughs> In the whole, in the whole building, Good is it me. higher or lower than seven hundred and fifty-five? Bloody hell! Whoa, whoa, that's high. And then your final one, number ten, is what sum do all the numbers around a standard dartboard add up to? Is it higher or lower than 205? Around the edge or the middle as well? No, just, just the numbers around the edge. Goodness me, Mark. Mark. That, that was pure <laughs> guesswork all yeah. the way down. There's a couple of them I thought, so I tried to work out my head and then I thought, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Heads or tails. Goodness me, this is potluck, Mark. This, uh, so, John, you need this point. Yeah. Well, so, okay. For these, the scores, but I don't <laughs> think I need it. <laughs> we'll go down the answers. Yeah. Right, go on then. <laughs> Number one, it was higher. Oh. Starting off bad. Can yeah. I get on now? It's an X for me. It's a pick for me. <laughs> oh. So it was actually 5,449 miles. <laughs> Number two, it was lower. The highway code. I, I, I went higher, so I'm it wrong was, again. Uh, it was 1931. 1931, as opposed to as opposed to 1936. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so 1931. What did you do, John? Did you go higher or lower? Well, I went lower. Did you? Oh. <clears throat> All right. Number three. Pure guesswork. Mm-hmm. <laughs> pure, Black, pure guesswork, yeah. Blackpool yeah. Tower. Should we declare our answers first, Neil? It was lower. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Only just, only by two meters. <laughs> oh goodness me! <laughs> oh, 150, 158 meters it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, number four, Land's End. It was higher. Yeah, it's my first point. <laughs> full out for John so far. Uh, Have you five. really, John? Got full out. Four out of four so far, yeah. So far, yeah. Can we just stop it there, Mark, actually? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, number five, Stuart McCall appearances. Yeah. Higher. Yeah. So how many, what, was the, what was the question? 350? 356, but he actually made 395. Oh, wow. Yeah. All together. 
Very good. Uh, number six, the giraffe. Yeah. It was higher. Oh, yeah. What? We rec- reckon it can go 52 miles an hour. No way. Goodness me, that's <laughs> quick. You'd think it would like lose its balance or, you know, break mm. a leg at that speed, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Goodness me. Too fast. You can, uh, his, his neck's like flopping, you know, flopping. it's just like, right. you know, going back. <laughs> yeah, Neil, Neil. Okay. One of the best things that I've, that I've um, about a giraffe, which entertains me, I saw it on an H program once and how giraffes fight. Can you imagine how giraffes fight combat? You know, it comes in the mating season, you've got two. What the head. Call? You've got two males, anyway, that I'm saying, I want this, this female. And I'm guessing out. it's all to do with the neck. I'm guessing they're whacking each other. Yeah, they use the, they use the head as a boulder, and they, and they use the the neck as some sort of. Um, they swing uh, it around and and yeah. launch it. Wow. So they swing like a golf ball round sort of thing. But these are, hmm. the, the best bit is when they miss the head, it just <laughs> it carries away. It goes too fast, and they lose consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> so then they fall over. They just kill over. That's it. Yeah. They're gone. So you got two two adult male giraffes that have a fight. If one tries to strike the other one and misses, it just lays down because it's not out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's bizarre. Isn't it? And put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> bizarre, right? Oh, Go on, number seven. Number seven, the Earth. It was lower. <sighs> John, John, John. <laughs> I mean, I've won. It's looking that way. <laughs> I've got six so far. Yeah, you've got six and Neil's only got two. Yeah, I've only three got left. two. And three left. This could well be John's. <laughs> yeah, that is. is. Number yeah. eight. Number eight. Uh, the dominoes. It was lower. John. 168. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Buckingham Palace. It's okay. got to be lower. It was higher. Oh, yeah. I reckon it's got 775 rooms. <sighs> that is crazy. Mm. And then the number 10, the dartboard. It was higher. <laughs> That's me. What a dreadful, dreadful Two, run. And it adds up to. <laughs> dreadful run on my part. Uh, John, we found some. We found a weakness for him. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say yep. seven. There we go. Well done, John. Three well done, it, John. John. Yep. <laughs> wow! Yay! We're back a little quick in yet. Very good. Very good. Thank you for that, Mark. Yeah. That's, uh, we'll, we'll, the the, uh, the graphics there for the uh, ongoing score, we'll stick that on Facebook as well, let people see it. Cool. Well done. Well done, John. Yeah. Well, well done. done. Yeah, get another one and then you're uh, you're, you're in the running then, aren't you? Um, we'll have, um, uh, we'll have uh, a guest on again soon, so let's, let's see if we can break their streak. Um, so, cool. Right, brilliant. Thanks for that, Mark. Good, good round. Good round. Yeah. Well, the next um, question I've got for you, um, a bit of a probe, really. So, we've all got our professions, we've all earning our money, we've got our balance, financial balance in life. What other profession might you have that little ambition or the idea, you know, I wouldn't mind having a go at that? So, is there another line of work which you've, which you've had a bit of a soft spot for? You thought, you know what? Oh, that, that would that would be. Oh, I like to do that. I, I I'd, I'd be interested to hear what you guys. Um. Uh. So yeah, Mark, you're a spark. Do you know what I mean? What else would you be? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, what? Go on. I, I I'm intrigued. It's a yeah, good well, question, John. I like that. I've done the thing working in an office as well, and now I'm offices. An electrician. No one. No one aspires to being in an office. Uh, no, no, we don't. <laughs> That's why I became an electrician. But uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I'd have, Maybe like right to have done something or tried something where to seen more of the world. Maybe uh-huh. some sort of profession which might have opened them sort of doors, or some sort of like maybe some musical, musiciany type. 
Just sort of oh, a bit of a jet set, a bit of a touring sort of oh, job, you I'd know. I'd have fancied that, yeah. Mm. Maybe a keyboard in some sort of. Yeah. Way. Hey, that's nice. So, yeah, that's nice, that. Yeah. Like so, that. It would be nice to yeah. see more of a work, more of a world through a sort of professional sort of way as well. Uh, girl in every port, is that just a, ah. a perk of the job or, you know? <laughs> 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 no, no, obviously. Uh, yeah, very good. I, I like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's nice. Yeah. yeah, that's almost like a dream job, I suppose. It would it? have been. Know? Yeah, yeah. So, well, that would be nice, but it's past that stage now. Yeah, we've yeah. had the opportunity to learn a few instruments, but never really stuck with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah same thing, you know? <laughs> I was a child, but I never, never kept up with it. No, that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. And people come in the pub now with jam sessions on. I look over it and I think, you know what, I wish I wish I could just join in this jam session. I know, it'd be so cool, wouldn't it, just to pick some up and to be able to join in and play. I, I've got a guitar. Like I, I, I know basic chords on a guitar. And mm. I, I, the thing is, with when you're playing an instrument on your own, it sounds completely different when you play mm. with somebody else. Mm. So if a drummer, you know, was there or whatever and said, right, let's try it, I could probably go with the drums, do you know what I mean, and keep something going. But when you play on your own, you, you'd strum a little bit and go, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. So you don't necessarily kind of practice long enough, you know, to kind of reap the benefits of it because you're you're doing it yourself. Whereas, you know, if you partner up with others, you're forced to play more. Yeah. And, and you go with the beat of a drum, you go with the keys or you go with a singer, uh, and things, your instrument playing just improves. I've never had that opportunity, you yeah. know. So, um, but yeah, I, I love playing the guitar a little bit. I'm very, very basic, very basic mm-hmm. on the guitar, uh, and it's a, a hobby. Yeah, it's you know, so yeah. right. Um, my um, my dream job, um, you've probably picked up on recent weeks, um, would have been uh, a stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, you know, I'm full on. I would uh, throw myself out of buildings. I'd love to be in a ball of flames and set a light. I'd <laughs> love to do stupid stuff like that. Um, you know, full on fear factor stuff. Uh, you know, just, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway. You know, and just like, you know, everything's safe, you know, uh, and stuff. In fact, I'll play a little video clip here of me jumping onto an airbag. Um, and things well you know but I, I have you know I, I would really love to do that stunt driving I'd love to go over ramps in cars well I kind of done that I, I, I've, I've, <laughs> taken, I've taken the car off four wheels you know yeah yeah all that kind of stuff so real you know real stupid stuff really yeah, yeah. I, I'd still love to do it I'd, I'd like to go for a rally drive you know uh, and things just to feel that speed and that you know yeah. uh, thing. So that's on my bucket list is a rally drive. Um, I'll go in my mate's car. I'll take it for a drive. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, actually, maybe not, John. <laughs> if you're driving. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> uh, so yeah, that's me. Go on, John. What, what's your uh, what's your uh, dream profession? What 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 would you want to do? Yeah, my morbid curiosity. Um, I'm a bit of a, I like I like to dress up every now and again. Yeah. I like my, my traditional my vintage clothes. My, you know, I like to go back in time, 100 years. Mm. Like me, like me, me tweeds, me wool jacket, clothes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, full bag of mashing. I've done a lot of hosting events at the program. When we host events like funerals. Um, I've, I've always taken extra, um, well, got me extra mile to make sure that our service and our appearance and our um, aura around the pub and our staff is is well suited to the event that it is. Mm-hmm. And so I thought to myself, you know what, if, if I were going to do another profession now, just a little... Um, as a, as a thought, it would be to do some like funeral directing, right? Yeah, you because know, it, it's it's that it's that pride of service, and I've always felt very proud when I've done these these mm. uh, mm. 
and funeral teas and whatnot. And it's it just been some bitch. I don't know. It, um, Later on, later on in years, you just want to get yourself hooked up with a, a funeral directors and just go and be part of the team because they're always looking for carrying, you know, the the chaps to, you know, to what do they call them, the bearers. Bearers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that and to go and to be like an extra in things like Peaky Blinders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, to get properly. Yeah, just just to be an extra in the in the in the film set. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, extra in films, anything just to get dressed up, right? And and, and then I'll have the right swagger, drink plenty of whiskey, and those of it. You, you'd fit in with uh, Peaky oh. Blinders on the on extras. Oh, It'd be wow. perfect. Yeah. Fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good, and uh, and and I can vouch for it. I can say you do look quite dapper when you're in your uh, in your uh, your clubber. Wow. So that looks smart. Yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool. Right, boys. Haven't you got home to go to? Thank you, Lauren. Uh, thank you so much, uh, guys. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. It helps us with the YouTube stuff, which is really great. Uh, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell. The bell will bring up a nice little icon for you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. It's really appreciated. And thank you to all our subscribers. Uh, it really means a lot. Uh, we enjoy doing these uh, episodes for you. Um, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Guys, thank you so much. We've uh, uh, I liked your questions, John. They were great. They were great. Yeah. Right. Cheers. Thank you for the quiz, Mark. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Ta-da. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.